Welcome to Brayon Math. We are asked to solve for this problem in the plane two concentric circles with radii 8 cm and 10 cm are given. A smaller circle divides a chord of the larger circle into three equal parts. Find the length of the chord. Okay, so first thing that we have to do is we need to draw the projections from the center of the two circles. So it is given that the smaller circle has a radius of 8, which is this one, 8. And this radius is 10. Then this is 8. Then this is 10 also. Then we can draw a line perpendicular to the chord, which is also a bisector of this chord. And going down to the center of the circle. These circles are concentric, so they have the same center. So, and it is perpendicular to here. So, we can form right triangles and we can make Pythagorean relationships between these legs because they are right triangles. Okay, so it is given that the chord is divided by a smaller circle into three equal parts. That, why, that is why we label this segment AE and segment EF and segment FB as X. Okay, so, and since we have drawn projections of the radius from the points of intersection between the chord and the two circles, and we can form right triangles from that. If we focus on the triangle E, E, M, O, which is a right triangle, then we can say that E, M, E, M square plus M, O square is equal to a square and em square is actually x over 2 since the, it is the distance of the central chord and the bisected distance by the line mo so x o squared plus mo we label that as mo still and this is equal to 64. And this becomes x squared over 4 plus m o squared is equal to 64. Let us label this as equation 1. Okay, so next step is we need to focus on triangle a m o. Okay, so triangle AMO is also a right triangle, and we can make a Pythagorean relationship between its sides. So we can say that AM square plus MO square is equal to 10 square, which is the hypotenuse. So AM is actually three halves of x because it is half of the three x so but it should be squared plus m o squared is equal to 100 so three halves squared is equal to nine over four x squared plus m o squared is equal to 100 and this would be our second equation. Okay, so next step would be, would be we have to subtract equation 1 from equation 2. Since we are looking for chord AB, which is equal to 3x. AB is equal to 3x. And if we subtract equation 1 from equation 
2, we have 9 over 4 minus 1 fourth is actually equal to 8 over 4 x squared. And m of square cancels out. And 100 minus 64 is equal to 36. And this is equal to 2. And if we divide this by 2, then 36 by 2 is equal to 18. So x squared is equal to 18. But we can write 18 as 3 squared times 2. And x squared is equal to 3 squared times 2. And if we take the square root of both sides, we have x is equal to the square root of 3 squared times 2. Then this becomes x is equal to 3 square root of 2. But actually, we are looking for the chord AB which is equal to 3x. So AB is equal to 3 times 3 square root of 2. And AB is equal to 9 square root of 2 centimeters. And that is our answer. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.